Hello everybody, I am Nutrix and today we're talking about Arturia's latest effects collection 3. They're really fun to play with, there's distortion, compression, there's reverb, delay, there's chorus, there's recreation of original stuff, there's just weird stuff. And there's some of these rarest, you know, devices you can't find anywhere. In the version 3, there's now four new different plugins. You can AB different two version of your presets there's a better performance there's a better workflow there's you know they just made it better so there's an update in all the plugins but the four new ones are basically a distortion tube culture which is a recreation of a the vulture culture and the ultra culture there's a distortion op m21 which is a recreation of the san san zamp uh, from Tech 21 from the late 80s, early 90s, which was a pedal, a distortion pedal. There's the EFX Fragments, which is just weird. And it's something I did video about it. So if you want more, more about that one, here somewhere. And there's the Tape Mellow Phi, which is a kind of a modulation tape flutter type of sound. So these two, the Fragments and the Mellow Phi, were released during the year. And now they're just part of the package so i'm going to talk about the new ones the tube culture and the distortion op m21 so i'm going to load now i've got the tube culture okay let's start this with the tube culture if i turn it off actually there's it doesn't play that loud the original so of course there's the drive there's the bias there's the function now understand that the tube culture is a recreation of a device that use tubes um, and the way the uh, tube will modify the sound it will either depending on the way they're uh, solder and, and, and connected you could either uh, enhance the even or the odds harmonics so it's going to add you know uh, a, a, a signature to it not just distortion but even if you even if you don't use distortion you're still going to add sound to it you know a result to it and when you change function here you're basically switching between the way these are wired the, the different triads or pentodes of the the, the the tube itself and you see the information at the bottom every time you just over a knob it shows you what it is so that's the distortion that's the bias the bias is is interesting it's it's the way the current flows between the tubes the amount of current so it will change how these react sometimes it will disappear totally will come back so it just you need to understand that the way they're connected it doesn't change so there's three ways to connect the the pentode and there's one way to connect the triode and if you don't know if you if you go what, what okay you go into the little hamburger menu here and go um, tutorials and you're going to follow the information here it's going to go i'm going to cancel but it, it goes through the whole thing of explaining on explaining how the original worked and how this one mimics that uh, for example this is new here presence air and off this was not part of the original device and the way you see it here it's a view meter when if you click on advance then you open up a more complete control so you see how much energy or current goes between the input and the output through the um, the bias basically and this will change the entire reaction of uh, the tube plus you can EQ the input with a low pass and high pass and a gate compressor and you can EQ the output and boost some of it so and then you get a mix between the two so it's really interesting um, in this case I use it on bass it can be just like soft and clean or it can be really aggressive if you want Let's see and in this case I'm just beefing it you know The other plugin that is new, op amp 21, looks like the Santa's amp. <laughs> okay, bring the drive up. Control the 
presence, kind of an envelope you can hear. The high. Normal. Lead. And just bassy. And then here, you can kind of EQ. So you can boost the low frequencies, boost the mid, slightly boost the mid. You can clean up the overdrive sound. You can uh, boost the treble. You can create a type of sound that sounds a little bit like an amp. You can play with where the microphone should be placed um, so it sounds different. And if the microphone is closer to the edge. So there's different ways to play with the character of the sound. So it can be really bassy, it can be very you know it's 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 a pedal guitar. Then you've got advents. Press on advents, then you've got the option of pre-driving it, so you can actually decide where it's gonna be happening. And post driving EQ. We can cut the pre-drive right away before it goes into. So there's really a lot of things you can do. It's really flexible here. And you can do it for left and right, mid or size side. So it's interesting how powerful this is, even if it's just a pedal, you know. Still, the sound is really cool and the fact that you can switch between A and B to test it, I like that. And then that's it. You can just go and, and decide, uh, I wanna play with this one here. So this one's going to be here, appear a lot on my bass and guitar sounds or my bass and synth sounds because it has that little edgy, you know, kind of, it adds more harmonics, the two distortion. If you don't play too, too much with them, if you don't drive them too much, it kind of just, I would say not an EQ, but a signature sound, you know, you add color to it, which is really nice. Um, and you can use it just like an EQ in a way. Really cool. Really cool for these. And just for fun, well, we're going to try it on the main output. Interesting for the snare crush. Tube culture. Does this one also have stuff that is closer to dynamics. See? This one is just adding more to it.
use it also like a master compressor EQ. Like this is an intense mix boss, the mix chain, or uh, quick and easy mastering. Interesting. So it's not just for distortion, it's for coloring also. That's it for this video. These two new two distortion, the tube culture and the op M21, part of the latest FX3 bundle from Arturia, plus everything else that is already there and the other two FX fragment and the Mellow Phi tape. That's it. Stay safe, make music. See you soon. Cheers. Thank you.